Okay, let's go. It's time to learn some chords. I'm Heidi Swedberg, and I want to teach you the C chord today. But first, we're going to have a little lesson on our fingers and how to hold the ukulele. So we got your hand here, your left hand. Assuming that you're right-handed, you're probably playing this way. Even if you're a lefty, it might be good to try to learn the instrument like this. We can talk more about lefty and righty later. So, you've got your left hand here. You know this one's a thumb, it's not a finger. And then you've got your index finger, your middle finger, your ring finger, and your pinky. So, let's take your thumb and put it back here. It's a very special spot on the instrument. We refer to this spot right here as China, because there's usually a Made in China sticker right there. So, you take your thumb and you put it in China. And now we're going to take our index finger. This is a lesson on holding the ukulele. We're not fingering a chord yet. Take your index finger and pinch the ukulele and let it dangle from your hand. Whee! Just nice and easy like that. Take a look at your wrist as you're holding it. You see that your wrist is just nice and straight. It's not bent up like this. From your thumb. It's nice and easy. Nice and relaxed. That's the way you want your hand to be when you play. So, just take the instrument and go whoop, Keep your wrist just the way it was. Hold it like that. So keep your thumb in China and take your ring finger, stick it on, if you put a sticker on, put it on that sticker down there on the first string, third fret, just like that. Ding! So there's a nice open space in your hand and you're able to get your fingertip right onto the string. There it is. Your finger's right there on the fret. Not the fret bar. On the fret. And you are fingering a C chord. Take your thumb. Gently stroke it down all four strings. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. See if you can make a nice, even stroke with your thumb. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Now we're going to have a little more fun with just the C chord. You're going to take your thumb and your middle finger on your right hand. You're going to put your middle finger on that first string, the one that you're fingering, the other hand. You can put your middle finger there and your thumb on the third string. If you're looking down from the top, the third string is right there. It's the C string. Now, optimistically, we should be playing C in octave if we pluck these two strings at the same time. Plucking is really simple. You just put your thumb and your finger on there and you give a little... Try that out. Ame ame pure pure ka asa anga Yano me ne omu ka e uri shi ida Pichi pichi japu japu na 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 This is a Japanese song about a child who hopes that their mother brings an umbrella because it's starting to rain. Can you hear the raindrops? them one at a time, like this, or together. Ame ame pure pure ka asa anga, jando me te omu ka e uri shi ina, pichi pichi japu japu little rainstorm. Whee! Those are two songs that you can do with just one chord, the C chord. C, we call it the people's key because it's one of the easiest keys to do the fingering in. We're going to learn three chord songs in the key of C really soon. Yay! I'm so glad you're playing. Go have fun! <laughs>